Well, if it isn't Yuritsa, what are you doing out here all by your lonesome? Come to think of it, you were always at the training grounds when we were at the Officers' Academy, too. It was quiet there. You don't say. Personally, I prefer somewhere I can kick back with a nice drink. Speaking of which, we should get one together sometime. I'm sure Hanneman would spare a moment to join us. I don't drink. Too bad. I thought it would be a good chance for us to get to know each other. By the way, I've been wondering, why were you always hiding behind that mask? A waste of a perfectly handsome face, if you ask me. I like you much better this way. It's not worth discussion. Oh! From what I've heard, you're probably a good few years younger than me. Yet you're so mature. It's like you have this indescribable air of mystery. I bet there's some burning passion lurking beneath that icy exterior, longing for reprieve. I'm right, aren't I? It's in there somewhere, I just know it. Say, let's grab some drinks tonight and do nothing with them because you don't like to drink. I know. Why don't we go out dancing instead? Uh, I could not reveal my face. And then, when the sun rises, we can... Oh, what was that about your face? Why you hide it? Why do you hide it? Some knew me to be a wanted criminal. I find that hard to believe. Like they say, there are two sides to every story, right? But what made you want to tell me? A moment ago, you blew me off with that broody, none-of-your-business routine. You would have kept talking if I didn't. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Did I say something strange? Sorry, I wasn't trying to tease. I just think you're cute when you're flustered. Uh, um. You've become quite the ladies' man. Just you wait. I don't give up that easily. Is that? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're getting along great with the soldiers now. Maybe it's because they can finally see your face. I have never been concerned with how others view me. But if you say so, then perhaps it's true. You have always been perceptive. Even back at Garrig Mach. My, you flatter me. I'm honored you noticed me at all. Hmm. Yes, that's it. All we need is that one finishing touch. Finishing touch? Yes, there's something you're missing. Do you know what it is, Yuritsa? Time's up. The answer is... A smile. Yes, nothing makes people feel safer than a nice set of pearly whites. Don't get me wrong, your cool demeanor has a certain charm. But if you smile like I do, people will be naturally drawn to you. It would also make it easier to talk to your peers and subordinates. Wouldn't you like that? No. 
Oh, no need to be shy. It couldn't hurt, right? And it doesn't just work on people. Animals will be more comfortable around you, too. Animals? Like cats? Of course, cats, dogs, even fish. They'll all flock to you in droves. Fish. Sounds good, right? Now, when it comes to smiling, the important thing is to move your mouth. And your demeanor will suffer if you're always mumbling. So keep that in mind, okay? All right, let's try it out. Give me your best shot on three. One, two, three. It seems being a teacher was your calling. A teacher? That's not really what I was going for. This must be why I'm still single. I don't think you need to change. Why, if it isn't Captain Gerald himself, a very good day to you. Oh my. You okay there? Those strong, broad shoulders, those rugged yet handsome features. I never realized you were such an attractive man. How did I miss it until now? For shame, get it together, Manuela. I hope you're not wasting time flirting with an old buzzard like me. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm flattered. But at my age, affairs of the heart are nothing but trouble. If you're looking for a catch, cast your net elsewhere. You might even find a fish closer to your own age. Mm, that blunt and aloof attitude makes you even more desirable. The years have given you a charm that less experienced men lack. You know who I am, yes? Manuela Casagranda? I used to be a diva in the Middle Franc Opera Company and was known far and wide as the divine songstress. And here you are, the legendary mercenary known as Gerald the Blade Breaker. Why... We are the sort of duo that could shake Fodlin to its very core. You sang in the Middle Franc Opera Company? I did indeed. Have you ever seen a performance? No. Oh, I see. But you've heard of them, at least. Sure. I actually have a memory associated with that particular troupe. It's just not a happy one. Oh dear. What kind of memory, if you don't mind my asking? It's not really something I want to discuss. <laughs> There's no need to be coy. I just want to know more about you. <sighs> it's a memory of my wife. A long time ago, I promised I'd take her to see an opera in Enbar. I never had the chance to keep that promise. Ah, I see. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up any painful memories. No, it's all right. I'm sorry that my story took the color right out of your pretty face. It was a long time ago, and I hadn't thought about it in an age. So, don't worry yourself, young lady. Oh my! Well, I can't remember the last time someone called me by so wonderful a moniker. Oh, there's that smile again. Compared to my ugly mug, you've got the face of an angel. No reason to waste your time with an old piece of leather like me.
And that concludes today's performance. Thank you so very much for coming. That was a great show, Manuela. You really put a smile on this old man's face. Not as extravagant as I would have liked, but I suppose it wasn't so bad, all in all. But why put on an opera just for me? It was actually your kid's idea. Really? But how did... I'm sorry, but after hearing that sad story about your wife, I just couldn't keep it to myself. Hmm, I see. I didn't mean to spill everything, but you raised quite the listener. Also, I was drunk, so there's that. Honestly, I don't even remember the conversation. I'm just going off what I was told the next day. Wait, you were so drunk you couldn't even remember? Anyway, when I finally stumbled out into the light of day, your kid suggested we show you the opera that your late wife never got the chance to see. Well, I'll be. I know. It was such a noble, touching idea. It actually caught me a bit off guard. But I so wanted to try and fill that hole in your heart, even if only a little. So we turned the opera into a duet and practiced during whatever free time we could carve out. Honestly, thanks for going along with me. I know you've probably got better things to do. I'm sure this opera put the original to shame. I'm grateful, and I'll probably be seeing my wife again soon, so I'll be sure to tell her all about it. You're hardly in a position to judge, seeing as how you never saw the original. And you can stop that morbid talk anytime you like. You sound like a man on his deathbed, and I won't stand for it. You and that wunderkind of yours are going to survive this war and do your wife proud by living long and happy lives. Now promise me. Sorry, but I can't do that. We're at war. And I lead a band of mercenaries. Tomorrow isn't something I'm entitled to. I made my peace with that a long time ago. I admit there are some things out of your control. But I also know you'll do what you must to survive. So when this war is over, I want you to come see me perform again. And I mean on a proper stage with an orchestra. Why, even a tough fellow like yourself won't be able to hold back the tears. And after the show, you must let me try to seduce you again. Otherwise, I'll always be left wondering. I uh, just can't let it go, can you? I told you not to waste your time on this old man. I don't care how old you are, or if you can't forget about your wife. Just promise me. I'll wrap your whole family up in my arms and give them more love than they know what to do with. But until then, I suppose I can settle for just being drinking buddies. You wouldn't let a poor woman drink alone after her star performance, would you? I think she just tricked me into agreeing to that. <laughs> Still, a man is only as good as his word. Sorry, Citri. Looks like you'll have to wait just a little bit longer for me. Hey, Manuela. Hmm. She must be out. <laughs> Did I hear something? Oh, wait. Is she sleeping in one of the patient beds? Oh, you. So silly. <laughs> 
she's smiling. I wonder what she's dreaming about. Wait, don't go. So you're just gonna leave? Uh-oh, now she's scowling. Looks like things are going downhill fast. Get back here! You'll regret this! You hear me? I'll never forget! <gasps> Morning, Manuela. Oh my, I don't even remember falling asleep. I don't suppose I was talking in my sleep, was I? Nah, I didn't hear anything. Really? I have a feeling you're just saying that. It's sweet of you, though. Actually, I had the most dismal dream that I'd finally found my soulmate, only for him to dump me. Just thinking about it makes me furious. How is it that even in my dreams I am hopelessly single? Oh, I, uh, I need a, a moment. Are you okay? I'm sorry, but uh, could I uh, trouble you for a glass of water? Phew, that is much better. Thank you. You got it. But, uh, it smells like you've been swimming in booze. Are you hungover? I might be. Is that a problem? Well, I don't think the infirmary is supposed to look like a bear charged through here. That seems like a problem to me. Back off, will you? You're the one who trounced in here unannounced and eavesdropped on my private if humiliating, sleep-talking. And now you're attacking me for a tiny hangover in a messy room? Who do you think you are, my mother-in-law? What? No. But as your friend and comrade, I can't not say anything. I know, you're right. I'm sorry. I tend to fly off the handle when I'm embarrassed. Hey... Can I ask you for one teensy favor? You want me to pretend like none of this ever happened, right? Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. You're a class act. Thank you. Well, I don't want everyone to think worse of me than they already do. I mean, honestly, where did it all go wrong? Did you know I was once a diva with a middle franc opera company? But now, apparently I'm just a shadow of my former self. Can you believe how rude that is? Why would you kick a girl when she's down? What? But I didn't... How about this? In lieu of hush money for our little secret, perhaps I'll let you hear me sing next time. I'll show you that this diva's just as dazzling as ever. Now you have something to look forward to. Anyway, did you need something? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm sure I had a reason to come in here, but now I don't have the slightest idea why. Another rough night, Manuela? You could stand to learn some manners, you know. I had a little too much to drink yesterday, that's all. More importantly, you saw me perform, right? Yeah, I was at the inn. You really do have a beautiful voice. I was impressed. I told you so. But was it just my voice you were impressed with? Well, I mean... When you were singing in front of everyone, you looked stunning. Seriously. Is that how you always are when you perform for the people in town? Oh, please. In their dreams, maybe. 
Yesterday was a special occasion because you were there. We had a deal, remember? Ah, uh, yes. The hush money. You haven't told anyone, right? About what I said in my sleep and such? Nope. Not one peep to anyone. Not even about the dream where you got dumped. Shh. Don't go shouting about it now. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with you, even when you are hungover. Really? It makes you seem like a laid-back, mature woman. Just another interesting side of you. One day you're a physician saving lives, and the next you're a warrior on the battlefield. I like all your sides. Like, you say? It's more like I can't take my eyes off you. All the more so now, since I've seen you sing and all. You have all these different sides that come together to form a complete person. Maybe that's what draws me in. It's like, which one is the real Manuela? Of course, the real me is the majestic diva shimmering in the spotlight. <sighs> if only. I'm not that delusional. Those days are long gone. Apparently, I've reached the age where I must take comfort in the glories of yesteryear. Do you really think so? I think you're probably way more attractive now than when you were all famous. Well, that's a solid gold pickup line. If only you were a handsome gentleman instead. Huh? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Anyone would find you captivating is all. I like the way you think. Maybe you and I could sit down and plan out my future together. Actually, how does tonight sound? Oh, um, I've got some stuff I gotta do tonight. Sorry, maybe another time. Oh, really? Fine, we'll save it for another day. It'll give us more time to talk anyway. Just don't blow me off, okay? Or you'll be sorry. <laughs> uh, that was a joke, right? Manuela? Right? 